Okay, we're gonna wire a 240 volt plug. Here I have some wire. It's exterior. I really don't need this for in here, but um, it's what I had on the show. You can use a box like this, a work box, or a, uh, like a, um, a box for in the plaster. This is nice and big. I'm gonna use this for now. Because in here, we don't really, probably when we do our final wire, it'll probably be something like this. But for now, we're just gonna use a nice deep box. And I have a 10 gauge wire. We have a 230 volt plug. And white and black will go in here. We won't have any white wire because there will not be 120 volts in our appliance. There will be only 240 volts. So you're on the hot, hot, and the ground. And the wire will just be a regular three wire. 10 gauge, a white block and run. And the white wire, instead of carrying uh, neutral voltage, it'll have um, regular voltage. So first thing we're gonna get our wires into the box. And we're gonna get that ground wire hooked up. That'll be first. And I strip the wires down. Okay, I'm gonna work on getting that ground wire hooked up. All right, we'll make a little curly new on here. Then I'll hold our ground screw. Here's a little trick. Um, if you have a non-magnetic nut driver or screwdriver, a little piece of tape will hold your ground screw right on there. With our ground screw attached in there. You always have to have a run screw. We're going to hook up our 230 volt plug. And we're going to use these two. And if you had a plastic box, that's when you would use the ground. So we will put our wires in our And we'll go ahead and tighten them up. And I'll tighten up the other one. Alright, with those all hooked up, I will tuck all this nice and neatly into the box. And I'll insert two screws in here. All right, everything's been tucked in there. And our plug is ready to go. Now let's go back to the fuse box and wire that in there. I'll need a cover for this. So when we uh, put it in the wall, we'll you know, buy an appropriate cover. But that's how you wire it up. Okay, we're now into the box. We ran our wire into the box. And I want to show you that we have a 30 amp double hole breaker. So if it trips, they both trip. And a 30 amp matches our wire. Here's our wire. And we're going to want to hook these up. And both, white and black, both go into that same breaker. We do not have a white wire. Now the ground, we went ahead and hooked that up. So both of these go into the, the breaker. Need a little bit more room in that one. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. And you can see we hooked the ground onto the ground bar. That's over here. Alright, so. All your whites. You get hooked on, and all your rods get hooked on to the, the ground bar there. I'm sorry, I told you that wrong. 
all your lights can hook on to the, in a sub feed panel, all your lights are separate, then get hooked on to the neutral bar, and all your grass get hooked to the ground bar. So in a sub feed panel, that's, they're separated. So our ground is hooked to the ground bar. You can see it's that heavy one there. And our white, which we do not have, does not get hooked up at all. Our white and black go into the ringer. All right, we are now hooked up. You can see our white and black go to our 240 volt uh, double full breaker. We have no white hooked up, and we have our ground hooked up. So we use no special wiring. Our appliance is a 240 volt one master uh, wood planer. So there's no, there's no white wire for this. It does have a 120 volt motor, but you plug that in separate. So that's why we do not need a white wire hooked up to drive this machine. Now like on an electric range, they usually have 120 volt control. At that point you'll have a red, black, white, and brown. But on certain things, you do not need that. If it does not have 120 volt inside the appliance. 